having me. All right, have a seat. Sure. Uh, Hello everyone, welcome to MNB World Talk Show's brand new episode. Today's guest is a brave young lady who is the first Mongolian woman motorcyclist who participated in Auto Motor Rally. Well, this beautiful lady sitting beside me is a co-founder of Gilgirim Skincare Product, a natural skincare product brand and chairwoman of a board of directors of Mongolian Cosmetic Cluster. Well, this is Miss Batsitsik Chagga. Well, thank you for receiving our invitation. Let's get into our questions directly. Thank so you for inviting me. <laughs> you started as an English teacher, your career, and you get into media and journalism. Why? Uh, well, first of all, mm -hmm. I want to say hi to all your audiences, mm -hmm. and thank you for inviting me here. And this is great experience to be here. Mm -hmm. And um, I worked uh, several televisions as a news anchor, journalist, reporter, and then I had those kind of media experience. Mm -hmm. But actually, I didn't graduate my university with uh, journalism. Journalism degree. No. Your, your degree is in English teacher yes. or English translator. Yes. 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 And I'm a raw journalist. <laughs> raw, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And uh, why it happened is like because when I was a kid, I really liked uh, linguistics. Okay. And I really liked writing and speaking mm -hmm. and also uh, pitching uh, my ideas. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't good with math, any okay. mathematics okay. and any numbers. <laughs> Better <laughs> with words and letters. Okay. And so then uh, actually like my first career was in UBS television. Mm -hmm as an English translator mm -hmm. and then while I was there I had the chance to see more about like journalist work mm -hmm. and so I was attracted and then I was later uh, joined Eagle Broadcasting Company mm -hmm. and as a reporter mm -hmm. and then promoted as a uh, TV anchor mm -hmm. later. So what did you like about journalism and media? Uh, that's a good question and uh, journalism is about like all the truth and it should be true mm -hmm. right and then this is a good thing like especially in this world and especially in Mongolia and then I was always trying to tell people that the other side which is more true side which is more thinkable side mm -hmm. of uh, any anything happening in the world mm -hmm. or anything happening in, in the country mm -hmm. and yeah I like so you like truth I like truth mm -hmm. I like true things There's it doesn't matter truth if it's in life yeah you're born and you die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, like, the truth is inside us. And then we can mm -hmm. feel if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, like, we can say, like, there's uh, different ways to say, like, <laughs> wrong or correct. Uh, and uh. yeah, but truth is even it's bitter. And mm -hmm. I like the truth. OK, well, truthful mm -hmm. lady. Well, uh, as a tradition, uh, let's uh, show to our audience who you are on papers. And uh, let's check out who is Miss Batsik Chagdra on papers, this truthful lady. Wow, very rich resume with so many variety <laughs> inside. Uh, well, anyways, you are, uh, as we mentioned earlier, you are the co-founder of Gilgenem, natural skin product brand, right? Skincare product brand. So how did you come up with this idea and what was your inspiration? Share the story behind. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Gilgirim uh, means like um, uh, somebody, it's an adjective, somebody who has beautiful skin. 
and it's a Mongolian word. Most of the Mongolians uh -huh. don't know the name. Uh -huh. And uh, Gilgirim uh, has uh, several products like oils and soaps mostly, and okay. then which is natural, mm -hmm. more than 90% and 100% natural. 100% natural. <laughs> yes, of course, okay. the oils okay. are 100%. Mm -hmm. And then Gilgirim is more like um, known with uh, by my customers about its camel bone marrow oil. Camel bone marrow oil. oil. Okay. Yes. Yes. And camel bone marrow oil. And That's then new to me. <laughs> I didn't have knowledge about skincare <laughs> yes, <and laughs> products. So, okay. Yeah, sometimes it sounds like kind of gross to people, but <laughs> still, like it's a great thing, and which uh -huh. is very ergonomic and which is really nice to use. And compared to like other oils from animals, and this is the best oil which I can take from animal originated oils. And this is a byproduct, I want to say first. Byproduct, okay. Yes, and this is a, a, like, I don't kill camels for taking the marrow. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> the good. camels are already <laughs> killed. And so already I just- Already killed? <laughs> yes. So okay. Okay. I you just- You don't <laughs> kill, but you take okay. Somebody kills, yeah. and then uh -huh. I just, um, I just use the already wasted, uh -huh. uh, I just upcycle the byproducts. Okay, the, that's the wasted good. I mean, organic waste, that is, yeah. That is, uh, yeah. Can I show my product? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the camel bone marrow oil. <laughs> marrow oil, okay. Yeah. Where do you put it? Um, is, it, is, it okay. for, uh, yes. is it for face or is it for body lotion? Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. And okay. then the story is like um, when I was pregnant and then mm -hmm. I, in, according to Mongolian uh, culture, mm -hmm. and then we add some like animal oil, tallow or uh, sheep tail fat oil on the belly, uh, preventing mm -hmm. from stretch marks. Okay. And then I asked my sister to like, can you make some oil for me? And then she gave me some oil mm -hmm. and then I smelled it, but it didn't smell like animal oil. It was smelling so good. And okay. then, yeah, it was like very absorbing. It was so good. And then it kept me away from any stretch mark during my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have stretch marks No, now. no, oh, okay. you can check, you okay. want to check? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. And then later, uh -huh. and when my baby was born, she had some um, uh, diathesis. It's like kind of like dermatitis. Mm -hmm. And then she had some rash. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to uh, ask my sister to do it again. But she said like, no, it wasn't the like sheep tail fat oil. And then I'm busy. You mm -hmm. can just do it by yourself. And that's, mm -hmm. that was camel bone marrow oil. And I said, uh -huh. what? <laughs> so yeah. you did it by yourself? Yeah, then, the yeah, okay. yeah. And the mm -hmm. next time, of course I did it. And then mm -hmm. I tried it on my baby and then mm -hmm. the, the rash got, has gone. Uh -huh. And then she was so good wow. and then kind of cured. Like it was mm -hmm. the first time I didn't use any, anything else. Mm -hmm. And then so since then, like I really loved it. And then I also remember that my friend uh, used it for his mm -hmm. um, teenage acne. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to make uh, soap with it okay. and then use the oil for my own family. Mm -hmm. And then um, oh, I, I'm very entrepreneurial of course. Okay. <laughs> so they're like, <laughs> Sounds anything, like it. Okay. Yeah, anything I learn and anything new I, I try and then anything you, I find practical for myself, mm -hmm. I'd like to share with other people because mm -hmm. I'm a journalist. <laughs> so then I shared it with my friends and then they really wanted to buy this and then so I started doing the product. Uh, you are chairwoman of the board directors at the Mongolian Cosmetic Cluster. Yes. So I think it, this is the first time I'm hearing that cosmetic brands and uh, small and medium enterprises are united under this cluster. What was the most challenging aspect of uniting all these different players? I mean, Cluster is not only the brands, right? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, chairwoman of the board of directors uh, of the Mongolian Cosmetics Cluster is my new career. <laughs> Your <laughs> new career? It's actually okay. my new volunteer work. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, last year, in exactly a year ago, Mm -hmm. EU Trump uh, European Union mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. um, named uh, Trade Related Assistance for Mongolia mm -hmm. and sponsored by European Union. And then that project collected all the Mongolian cosmetic manufacturers together mm -hmm. at uh, Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mm -hmm. And then they asked us like to get united together. And then they said like, oh, well, Mongolian cosmetics is unique and it's exotic mm -hmm. and it's natural. So mm -hmm. like uh, you have market in European Union mm -hmm. and we can help you to export your products there okay. and we can assist you. Uh -huh. And then we was like quite happy, but it was so weird and awkward to sit with your um, competitors, uh, competitors of the market. Of course, and of especially course. like the cosmetics brands are like very few of us and mm -hmm. 
fighting on the market, yeah? And <laughs> small market. Yes, we have, yes, yes. But actually, this, the market is big, but we are small. <laughs> and uh -huh. then it was like kind of weird, but uh, we were like meeting for almost a year. Uh -huh. And we were meeting and meeting, but it, it didn't go well. And then so one day, um, the export, Nevin Baran from Turkey, and then she mm -hmm. said that like, I'm coming for the second time, and then the third time, I don't want your seat to be the same and doing nothing. Uh -huh. And then she was so unhappy and upset to leave on April. Okay. And then so like, I was, I, I was feeling so sorry. And then of uh -huh. course, like all the companies wanted to export the products, and then we all want to make money, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and everybody needs the, uh, the um, legislation mm -hmm. because the cosmetic sector is a brand new sector, mm -hmm. brand new industry in mm -hmm. Mongolia. So that's why we don't have enough legislation, mm -hmm. enough standards. And then those standards are like old and out of date, yeah. And so then uh, I decided like, well, I have to show an example. Somebody have to start it. Mm -hmm. And then I was stopped thinking about my own company. Mm -hmm. And I was stopped, started thinking about like all the companies. Mm -hmm. And then I invited to my office, invited them to my office. And mm -hmm. then we started working on the Articles of Association of the uh, NGO. Okay. And in the meantime, we were talking about, and of course, like we had problems, and but still, and what are the problems? That's interesting. Yes, the problems, and it's like uh, some of the big companies, mm -hmm. and some of the, uh, most of our, of them are like small and mm -hmm. SMEs, yeah, mm -hmm. right. And so that's why, like the, the bigger companies are like so proud, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh -huh. then their needs are different, uh -huh. their questions are different, uh -huh. their requirements were different. Uh -huh and their interests were different mm -hmm. and but the small smaller but but luckily the most of the uh companies were smes mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's why like the smes have so many problems yeah, of course, yeah uh -huh. even like financially mm -hmm. and uh, r d research and development mm -hmm. and laboratory tests and like whatever anything uh, like packaging marketing and all mm -hmm. the problems so then we discussed it like well and one by one mm -hmm. and we can go yeah yeah independently and mm -hmm. but w if we are together and then we have the same interest and we have the same problems so let's solve them together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and then we almost like uh, it took almost a year to understand each other and then get to know <laughs> each other uh -huh. and then just talking mm -hmm. and then to find the common interest mm -hmm. to find the common needs mm -hmm. and to find the common goals mm -hmm. and so then after that and then we have established our ngo in September 9th, September 9th. September yeah. 9th? Yes, just two months ago. Two months ago, yes. this year? Yes, this okay. year. And then just uh, when we just decided like, okay, we're going to make it a real work. Mm -hmm. And then it was like so fast and furious. <laughs> so like oh, we wow. made everything so quickly. Mm -hmm. And then we are doing so perfect, so mm -hmm. good. And mm -hmm. so the project, EU Tram project, and also the Mongolian mm -hmm. National Chamber of Commerce and Industry mm -hmm. are so happy about our union. Well, uh, we MNB World team has visited to the Gilgerim store and uh, took a look at the products. So we are in a uh, nature outlet store and this is a store which has all these kind of like exotic and natural, organic, beautiful products from Mongolia, made in Mongolia. And uh, we don't have our own like brand shop because uh, we have only six, seven types of products. And so that's why it's more suitable to uh, sell our products through the distributors, especially like these kind of boutiques and also chain supermarkets. And uh, our uh, customers, uh, we have made a survey and then we had 91% satisfaction from our consumers and customers. And then they have the rebuying behavior um, and uh, our first product was this one and which is the camel bone marrow and charcoal soap and actually like I had my own problems on my skin especially I have combination skin oily combination and so that's why like I had pimples very often and uh, most of the uh, creams uh, I couldn't stand my skin couldn't stand and then this soap is what I made for myself and then this is the most famous product now I'm having from the Gilcrum brand and uh, this is very suitable against acne and pimples and for teenagers and also men really like this soap and then um, uh, about this soap and also another soap is uh, the soap with uh, oats and also sheep 
gurjuk or sheep tail fat oil and then this soap is very good for all uh, age of children and also people with dermatitis like atopic dermatitis and so that's why like especially Korean people really like my soaps and then they uh, come and buy them and then take it back home to sell so especially atopic dermatitis is a skin rash and skin problem which is very common in Korea uh, and of course like uh, about the ingredients from like oils from animals such as uh, camel bone marrow oil, sheep dead fat oil or sea oil and we buy them from Mongolia Wow, very exciting. I feel, I feel some kind of pride that you guys made these many types of products within Mongolia using science. Awesome. <laughs> I'll give you that. Awesome. It is awesome. Well, uh, we've talked about, enough about uh, Gilgirim beauty products, but uh, now we have to talk about you. The uh, best memory of your childhood. Best? Um, well, I would say it's not the best best or the happiest but I would say it's the most remarked or most highlighted and mostly kept and remembered moment I had in my childhood. Okay, okay. Yeah and uh, it's a kind of sad story. Sad story, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. But but that's like I always keep in my mind. Interesting, okay. So, yeah and I used to help my father uh -huh. and then my father has uh, a photography studio Okay. Uh, after he was retired mm -hmm. and then I was helping him with and then maybe I was in the middle school mm -hmm. and one day like while he was away and then I was staying in his uh, office and then I had some chance to sell some batteries okay yeah because he used to sell some small items at mm -hmm. the studio mm -hmm. and then I had some money and then I couldn't stand and then I went out to the small shop toots right mm -hmm. and then I went to the small shop and I bought some candies and mm -hmm. then I couldn't stop myself and then I ate it mm -hmm. And then I was staying back <laughs> and my dad came in and I was a little bit scared and uh -huh. I, I just stayed quiet. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. You didn't yeah, tell him Yeah, like I kind of stole. Uh -huh. You <laughs> yes. stole some money yes, and bought, yes, a, bought yeah. some candies, okay. Yes. <laughs> and uh, then like he found out that uh, I that there were like some batteries were missing and then uh -huh. some money he, was missing. Yes, uh -huh. some money was missing and then he asked me like to tell the story uh -huh. and then I told him but I told him like with some ignorance. Well, Dad, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw some batteries and then I wanted to buy some candies and uh, that yeah. would be okay for you, uh -huh. isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. And about he was like so angry. Okay. And then I, w I was like even couldn't imagine like how angry he was. And then he just uh, walked home. Like we didn't take any bus or whatever. He just walked home. Mm -hmm. It was like more than one kilometer or whatever. Mm -hmm. With and you? Then no, he was just leaving behind. Uh -huh. And then I was running after him. And then he, because like I was a small little girl uh -huh. and then like his steps was like so big. And uh -huh. so I have I had to run running. after. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And then I was like, I, I started being like angry at him too. And but later, like I was crying and then I was like uh -huh. apologizing uh -huh. and chasing after him. <laughs> yes. And then he was like saying that, like, well, you have to take pack your clothes uh -huh. and then go out of my house. Uh -huh. So you're a bad girl. You're not uh -huh. anymore my girl, uh -huh. my daughter. Uh -huh. So then I, I was like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. So your daughter <laughs> just like yeah, costs just the mm -hmm. candy. <laughs> why so serious? Yeah, why so serious? It's just a small yeah. candy. Yeah, yes, just a small candy. And I was like crying like, no, of course, like mm -hmm. I don't want to be a street person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was <laughs> begging and crying and all the way uh -huh. around. And then just at the door and he said that like, well, promise me mm -hmm. that you will be honest for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Then I will let you get in my house. Mm -hmm. So then of course, like that was much easy. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, well, I promise, <laughs> <laughs> all the way I promise. Uh -huh. I promise to be honest. Uh -huh. Yeah, so then that's the story like, which is so great. So dear to you, yeah. you always remember. And, 
and uh, from that story you always try to stay honest for for, whole, for your life huh? yes ever yeah. since then yeah sometimes mm -hmm. i sneak to my refrigerator though <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well who so. doesn't i have noticed something very interesting on the uh a package of your soaps and products uh, can i take a look <laughs> this is this is brand new idea the, the name of the soap is anti-corruption soap. <laughs> Why? How did you come up with this idea? Yeah, and uh -huh. do you smell it? Smell it. What does it well, smell like? Well, it smells like soap. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm well, a man. And well, I, I don't <laughs> focus yeah, on well it says uh -huh. like um, scent of justice. And then only oh, like scent of justice. Yes, oh, that's only okay. ethical people can smell the justice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, okay, that was uh, scent that of was justice. Yeah, examination test. Oh, okay. So that makes me <laughs> what kind of okay, person? I'm okay. joking. I'm joking. Well, um, I just as I said before, uh -huh. and then uh, I'm a I'm a business person, and I'm trying to I'm an SME, right, in mm -hmm. small business, and. So then uh, I was trying to, I had actually like uh, some financial issues with my business, mm -hmm. which is very common for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one time my friend came to me and then he said that like, hey, Paggy, I was thinking like your business is, uh, was going well, but it seems like you have some problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. you need some money, you need some support, you need some financial assistance. And so I want to help you. So then why don't you apply for the SME loan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will make sure that you win. Okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what? Okay. And then he said, like, I really want to help you. Uh -huh. So, but you have to make sure that give me the 10% and then I will give that to the, <laughs> uh, okay. to the like, uh, comedy or something, uh -huh. whatever. And then I said, like, come on. Is that what you do for a living? Yeah. Is, then, it, is it some kind of corruption that you're trying to do? Yes. Make? And then I asked him, like, is this what you do for a living? Mm -hmm. And then he said, mm-mm. And then I said, well, stop it. Mm -hmm. And never ever talk something about it to me again. Uh -huh. And then when I left the room, I was like, so, uh, how to say, upset. But it's not about him. It's about the, the, the condition, the system. Mm -hmm, the system. And yes. And also I was about like upset about myself. Mm -hmm. So like, because I wished myself mm -hmm. to be to be okay to corrupt <laughs> and then get the, uh -huh. yeah, get the money mm -hmm. and then to save my company, yeah. to save yeah. my yeah. business. But then like, I hated myself. <laughs> like, why are you so serious? And why uh -huh. are you so like crazy and conservative and whatever? Uh -huh. And then even I was like blaming my dad, like, why did you do that to me, mm -hmm. to make me to be like this? Uh -huh. And then I went to my office and then I was like, so crazy. And then, but anyways, like I hated it. So then I just, made my things and mm -hmm. then I made this <laughs> mm -hmm. because I was so angry and then I wished if I could wash all the corruption with my soap. I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do, but I only have soaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to wash those uh, terrible things, terrible dirts mm -hmm. of the society. And then any dirt, any bacteria can be washed out with soaps. Mm -hmm. But the corruption, the bad heart, mm -hmm. the bad mindset, the bad mm -hmm approach the bad mm -hmm. attitude cannot be washed but the only way to wash this mm -hmm. is the people themselves yeah mm -hmm. so then i wanted to give the message please mm -hmm. buy this and wash yourself, <laughs> wash yourself. yes yes nice yes. okay yeah and then this this well, became mm -hmm. later a campaign uh -huh. can i get one from this <laughs> of course of course so that yeah. i could be uh, free of corruption <laughs> yes you will be perfectly Inside clean. And out. Yes, <laughs> and then you will start smelling <laughs> the justice. Yes, justice, right? Yes. I will have a smell of justice. Yeah, that's the story I started my campaign. Mm -hmm. And so now the uh, General Authority Against Corruption of Mongolia and the Asia Foundation, the mm -hmm. Transparency International, the Mongolian uh, National uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and then all those professional organizations are supporting my civil initiative and then they're helping me and then some of them are donoring my campaigns mm -hmm. and then so uh, yeah I'm planning to uh, make more uh, like how to say preventive um, uh, convincing 
works mm -hmm. against through corruption. Your business and through your yes, actions. and for the integrity. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say that, like every parent, and please raise your kids with integrity. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Them. Thank you for that. Shoutlutlen gitin yur nooro soil limo uyu imbi. За ер нь бас соёл байх хэвээр байна. Гэтэ соёл болохоос өмнө шүүл үлэх ч итгэдэн зөвс ер зөрг шаардлагатай зүйл болж байгаа юм л да. А олон олон шүүл үлэх би болоод олон шүүл үлэх хамаалаад эхлэх юм бол тэр соёл болж тогтох баг. Одоо Монголын нөхцөлд бол соёл болоог нэг 3-аас 4 жилийн дараа соёл болж гэх болоо гэж бодож байна. Шүүл үлэх гэдэг соёл болохын тулд ер нь хамгийн түрүүнд юу их шаардлагатай? I'm going to run the whole thing. What kind of future do you dream of for Mongolia? What kind of society do you want for your child in the future? Give me some details, not some vague mm -hmm. answers. Vague, vague means okay. like, okay, I want a good future. I want, uh -huh. you know. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, that's that's a great thing. Uh, for my daughter, mm -hmm. I want the society, of course, to be safe, but I want the real democracy, equal equality, mm -hmm. equal opportunity for my daughter. Mm -hmm. And then for an example, like uh, when I uh, was uh, trying to, how to say, when I was trying to participate a competition which has very great grant mm -hmm. and uh, some of the doctors offered me that like, well, and if you give me some yeah, prize or mm -hmm. corruption, mm -hmm. a bribe, mm -hmm. bribe, and I will make sure to make you win. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And that sounded like a great thing to make sure that I, will, I, I win the grant, right? Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I found that like, well, what about if I compete myself? truly without any support mm -hmm. and then there's no chance to win mm -hmm. it was so sad to know that there is no equal opportunity mm -hmm. so then i want my daughter not to be disappointed with mm -hmm. this kind of like uh corrupted issues and this kind of uh dishonest society mm -hmm. so i want her to be able to mm -hmm. fight for herself mm -hmm. and then have the same opportunity as others have and then the second thing is, I want Mongolia to have its national dream, its national identity. Mm -hmm. So everywhere I go or anywhere, like I find myself like quite brave <laughs> mm -hmm. and quite curious. Mm -hmm. And Mongolian people are quite like um, uh, perspective and flexible. Mm -hmm. And then we learn fast and we are quite like mm -hmm. um, we mo mo Mongolized. Easy. Yeah, yeah, adapt easy. And then so like, uh, but the problem is about ethics. I still keep talking about ethics. And then we need ethics. And then we need the integrity. And then it's uh, integrity, honesty, in the righteous way is the quality of everything. It's the quality of our life, quality of public services, quality of company services, mm -hmm. and quality of products. And it's about the quality of everything. So then that's what I want Mongolia to have the national identity as integrity and ethics. Mm -hmm. And I want Mongolian people to be famous and popular and known as their character as ethical. Well, thank you very much. It's been pleasure. It's been very interesting conversation. I had uh, laughs and uh, I had uh, uh, so much new ideas, so, mu so much energy from you. Thank you so much. And I wish you good health and good luck with your future endeavors. Thank you so much for inviting me here. It's it's an honor to be here. Mm -hmm. And then also thank you for m uh, very much for your audience for sitting in. Well, this has been Ms. Batsitsik Chagtra, who's a co-founder of Gilgirim Natural Skin Care Beauty Product brand and COB of Mongolian Cosmetic Cluster. I hope you enjoyed our conversation thoroughly, I did, and uh, we will see you with our next episode. Until then, goodbye.